everyone. Welcome to the end of day one wrap here at Pro Tour Oath of the Gatewatch in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. The Pro Tour historian Brian David Marshall is with us, your host Rich Hagen here. Um, BDM, eight rounds done, eight rounds to go. Um, I don't really think today could have gone better in terms of an exciting limited format and a modern format that really did deliver the shakeup it had promised ahead of the event. You know, it's really funny. I, there was, there was a, a moment where you're looking through the matchups and you go, oh, Nia Burn, Affinity, in fact, you know, and you're like, okay, you know, and, and that's, and, you know, people make the right choice for the right tournament. You're like, that's great. But, you know, where's my exciting? And then you hear Death's Shadow. Then you hear Eldrazi Skyspawner. Then you hear about Reality Smashers smashing. And, uh, and yeah. suddenly this tournament, the, 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 the modern format has never, hasn't looked as exciting to me in, uh, in, in two years. Right, and that's great. And that's vindication because you know, any time uh, modern is a format where cards are banned from time to time. And we obviously had two big bannings coming into the event. We said goodbye to Splinter yeah. Twin, which was the big boogeyman in the room, I suppose. And we said goodbye to Summer Bloom. And it's great that the result is something so compelling to watch and to play because you'll be able to play on Magic Online in the Pro Tour Gauntlet starting next Wednesday. So all these decks that are bubbling towards the top, they're going to be in your hands in just a few days, which is great stuff. So, so I mean, it's, it's very interesting. We talk about some of these, also this opportunity for new interactions. Uh, you know, we, we watched a lot of the Death Shadow, de Death Shadow deck, and uh, Martin Mueller was playing against Sam Pardee in the last round, and I was really hoping we'd get him in for an interview to talk about this, but it's such an interesting play that I have to mention it. Mm -hmm. Reality Smasher attacks into a 7-7 seven, seven, uh, Death Shadow. Okay. Okay? Uh, block, Sam Party uh, plays Dismember. Dismembers the Death Shadow, says right. trample for two, you know, do two to that, mm -hmm. and then trample three over to you. Well, the problem is that when that three damage gets dealt to Martin Mueller, it now changes the stats. The minus X minus X. The minus X minus X mm. on the Reality Smasher, which is, I mean, on the Death Shadow, which has only taken two damage and now has three extra points of toughness. And it gets to live, and then oh. Martin Mueller swings back for the win. It was, you know, something that I'm sure, despite playtesting for, you know, two weeks, probably never came up in the face to face game's house. Right. What do we do in terms of what is the Death Shadow math? Well, how about some top of the standings, Math? We've got the big leaderboard behind us. Here's your top 20 as we head into day two. There are only two perfect records. There you see Jie Chen Tao and Justin, uh, Jason Chung of New Zealand. They're the perfect records. And then it's seven and one all the way down. And then if you see over here, again, seven and one's down as far as Andrew Brown in 13th. And then the beginnings of the six and twos. BDM, who do you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to talk about JC Tao. We, we've, uh, we've talked a lot about East West Bowl and I don't believe his name was on the team graphic when we started. We didn't have the full roster, but he oh. is a member of East West Bowl. Okay. So, you know, it's interesting to me that at the top of the standings, there's a team that was maybe not at the top of our list of teams to talk about. It was certainly one of the teams we talked about, but right there at the top, 8-0. And, you know, that to me is the deck that I am most excited to get up on this wall tomorrow. Right. And one thing that's certain is that 8-0, it doesn't buy you a place in the top eight, but it does guarantee you that even if you come back tomorrow and you draft 45 basic lands for your collection at home and you go 0 and 3 you're still at 8 and 3 and you're still in contention once you head back into this format where you've already 5 and 0 so in a sense tomorrow's draft for the the two 8 and 0s it's all just about how how much can i keep ahead of the field now bear in mind 1 to 8 most likely will be pod one tomorrow. So you're going to have Chung against PVDDR, Frank Lepore, William Jensen. If you look to nine to 16, well, that means that Louis Scott Vargas, Paul Cheon, Matei Zatelkai, and Alex Magelaton are going to be right in that mix. So you're going to see some tremendous tussles as the field generally tightens uh, at the start of day two. We will have, as we pretty much always do, around about 400 players at the Pro Tour. There will be eight pods drafting tomorrow where somebody is sort of on the 6-2 or better range. Right. Um, and because you can only play within your pod, that means you're going to find someone getting to 9 and 2. You're going to have a bunch of 8 threes, some 7 and 4s. It's going to get very, very tight. <laughs> you know, just an example of a pod that, that looks like that. Antonina DeRosa, Ari uh, 
Wisnitzer, Christian Alhram, uh, Ahmad Sumit, but then Ben Stark, Mike Sigrist, Mike Cron, and Jonathan Hickerson. Okay, I'm going to beat that because yeah. that's pod four. Yeah. Pod five, Andrea Mengucci, Owen oh my gosh. Sam Pardy, Matt Nass, Shota Takao, Josh McLean, Gary Wong, and Sam Black. Wow. And that's pod five. Tomorrow morning is going to be Do Not Miss Magic TV. And then it's back to the craziness of modern. We're going to be in Death's Shadow. So a lots of people except eight. Because on Sunday, eight of them get to come back and do battle in the best three out of five. Yeah, be best three out of five. Something that we've changed up for, for this Pro Tour from the last kind of wave of Pro Tours, which have been best two out of three. We're going to show you two quarterfinals. Then when they've concluded, we're going to start the next two quarterfinals and we'll show you the entirety of both semifinal matches before we move on to the finals. It's going to be great stuff. Don't you dare miss it. The weekend just gets better from here. From the 400 players out on the floor today, we thank them for being part of such a wonderful show. Most important though, you the viewer for being with us. We'll do it all again tomorrow. Three rounds of draft, five rounds of modern. Pro Tour Oath of the Gatewatch just keeps getting better. Don't you dare miss a thing. We'll see you tomorrow.